Hi, I'm Melissa Colazzo, a professional makeup artist, educator, and Moda Maven, and I am so excited to share with you the latest kits for Moda, introducing to you the heavy metal kits for face. They come in two separate finishes, and they are both so gorgeous. First, we have the burnished heavy metal face kit, and we have the luminous heavy metal face kit. They are in classic shapes that every person should have in their makeup bags, and they are the exact same quality we have come to know and love from Moda. Always 100% vegan, cruelty-free, and top of the line when it comes to fabrication. The thing that makes this particular kit stand apart from the rest are the weighted handles. It's really just a beautiful innovation that Moda has included in this latest kit. I am very excited to share with you how I created this 90s inspired look using both brush sets in different ways. So come along and join me. Let's get started. To create this look, I decided to use the Luminous Kit to blend out all of my cream products. Using the Accentuate brush to blend out the smaller areas of my face where I've placed a lighter shade of foundation, then switching to the blending fan to seamlessly blend out my foundation and buff out the contour shade around the perimeter of my face. While the crease brush is fabulous for blending out shadows, I'm using this small brush to subtly define the contours of my eyes and nose. The flat edge of the shader brush allows me to create definition to the lower lash line and facilitate a little lift. Before creating an eye look, I like to create a frame by filling in my brows with fine hair-like strokes. I find that using the liner brush with a little bit of concealer helps to create a cleaner and more defined brow shape. Just sketch a line with the sharp edge of the brush and then use the flat edge to blend out and soften the line. Now that I've laid down all of my cream products, it's time to switch to powders. And for that, I'm using the Burnished Heavy Metal Face Kit. I love how the Accentuate brush allows me to apply translucent powder precisely where I want it, and the dome shape filaments hug even the smallest of areas. Using the blending fan to lay down bronzer and look at the color payoff. The professional quality filaments do an excellent job of both applying and blending products, and the weighted handles provide a level of control that you just can't get in any basic brush. I love the trick of using my face bronzer as the base for my eyeshadow. With the crease brush, I'm applying a bit of that same warm bronzer to the exact same areas I placed my contour earlier, not being afraid to color outside of the lines a little bit because I know that in the end, the look will be completely cohesive. It's time to start building my smoky eyes, starting with a black gel liner. Check out this pro tip for tight lining your lower waterline with ease. Next, I'm adding a generous amount of that same liner to my upper lid, not worrying about being perfect because I know that the shader brush will take care of all of the heavy blending for me. I'm using that same shader brush, dipping into gray and black shadow to start building out that smoky eye. I find that this layering technique helps to give your shadows an additional depth as well as a surface for the shadows to grip onto. Excellent for anyone who has more oily eyelids like mine. To soften the edges of that look, I am back with my crease brush and bronzer, buffing out the edges to a seamless blend. A smoky eye just isn't a smoky eye without a deep black lash line. So here, I am using the line brush to add some additional black shadow to the upper lash line as well as smoking out the bottom lash line. It's time for a little glow. Back with the accentuate brush to add some soft highlighter to the tops of the cheekbones, to the inner corners of the eyes, the arch of the brows, and to the cupid's bow of the upper lip. No homage to the 90s makeup look is complete without that signature dark brown lip liner. Here I'm using the line brush to soften the edges, giving it a bit more of a modern twist, and then of course topping it off with a clear gloss for added shine. To say that I love the heavy metal face kits are a complete understatement. I am obsessed with how they feel in my hand. Be sure to pick up one or both of these beautiful bold metallic brush sets today.